but have a look at the boot there. Yeah, oh, fuck. Never yeah, let's go over here to the Lamborghini. That was the baddest top 32 I think I've ever seen. What is up guys and welcome to a very exciting Drift Games vlog. It's the finale of Drift Masters this year. It's been a mind-blowing season. We kicked it off at Mandelo Park, we broke the attendance record, then we went to Austria to the fastest track of the year. We then went to Sweden, into the Arctic Circle where there was no nighttime for the entire seven days we were there. Then we went to Riga, which is always a crazy party. Then we went to Germany, to Feropolis, and that crazy mining island, which was just mind-blowing as always and now we're about to head to a stadium where they've laid almost a quarter of a million euros worth of tarmac 20,000 seats sold out and the championship coming down to the wire this is going to be the best end to a drift season we've ever seen in the history of drifting we're going to be behind the scenes in this video All right, guys, before we kickstart this adventure here in Poland, I want to thank today's sponsor, NordVPN. Now, one of the things that we do is travel all over the world, and we often use public Wi-Fi networks like hotels or airports, and they're not very secure. If you're trying to buy car parts online or whatever you're buying online, you can often get your credit card details stolen, and NordVPN stops that from happening. And again, it's happened to all of us in the past where we got weird stuff on our bills and we don't know where they came from. NordVPN stops all of that from happening and it's a simple software that you can install on any device you have. Now also what's cool about NordVPN is that if you're abroad, like we are traveling a lot of the time and you wanna access your content from home, like your streaming services like Netflix or Amazon Prime, and in different regions, there are all different shows and movies. Well, NordVPN solves that problem too because you can access what you want at home or you can access the different stuff they have abroad all by using NordVPN. The best thing is that NordVPN has the fastest VPN connection of anyone in the game and you get no latency, no lagging, no buffering on all your favorite content streams from across the internet. And because you're Drift Games fans, they're offering us an incredible deal. You guys will get a massive discount on a two year deal with four months extra free. All you gotta do is go to NordVPN forward slash Drift Games or I'll put the link in the description and they'll give you a 30 day guaranteed money back if you're not happy with the service, which we're pretty sure you will be. Remember that's nordvpn.com forward slash Drift Games. And I can guarantee you, you'll thank me when all of your stuff is protected and you get to see a lot of cool exclusive content as well. Anyway, thank you so much to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. And now let's head to this incredible stadium and kick off the finale of Driftmasters. So here we go. Drifting started on the mountain roads of Japan and then 30 something years later, we're walking into a full stadium that's been tarmac for a specific event and it looks believable. Ridiculous. Oh my God, it's way more banks than I thought. It's actually a lot bigger than what I thought. This is pretty wild, isn't it? I, you know what? I didn't realize it was as banked yeah. as what it was. I like, walk in and go, hey. But even now, like this has got mad camber. Yeah, yeah. Like you don't un you don't realize it. You don't you see it in a photo or a video. It looks flat, but it's not. It's really cambered. I think the biggest fatality is going to be these white boards around the edge of the track. <laughs> 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 going to go boom. So yeah, this is at every single seat here is sold out. Twenty thousand people sold out. And we're going to be Ian. I assume up there. Yeah, we're in there somewhere. Shout we're in there. Shout. Nobody can hear us except ourselves. Except you and me. Because a lot of people don't realize that when we commentate in foreign countries like Poland, there's a Poland commentator. So me and Ian are just in a small room shouting at a wall. Yeah. And everybody at home is like, oh, it's, it's lit there. But nobody here can no, hear us do that. Yeah. And then like a cleaning woman will go by going, what are they, sh what are they what, shouting at now? What are they shouting at? We've done stadium events before, but 
I think it's been such a long break since we've done one that it feels weird that we're back to it. 2019. 2019 is the last time we did one. So that's four, three years ago? Three years ago now. Yeah. And this one's better because some of the stadiums are too big. So you've got like, you know, like 40,000 seats, but 20,000 sold out. This is the third event sold out for Driftmasters this year. Yeah. It's crazy. So this is where it's all going down this weekend, Ian. The commentary box. Yep, this is where me and you are going to try and blow the windows out of the place. Yeah, we're going to be shouting a lot. People yeah, in the stadium shouting. won't hear us, but everyone at home on Red Bull TV will hear us. And yep. then this is our, uh, this is what we see. So we see, and then we've on air. So this is on air. Then when you're not talking, you press that. And then when you're talking, you do that. So that's kind of the mute button. And that's pretty much how that works. It's fancy. It's got fancier over the years. It used to just be one button. Yeah. That was just on or off. On or off. So now and you've got Nick, the director, as well. Yeah, and then you can watch it on the screen. So we see what everybody at home is seeing. And then... This is the first time you've had a view. Yeah, first yeah. time this year. We've first time this year, we actually can see the track. But we generally will use this to commentate from. So if you see something on the track that people at home can't see, it can be frustrating. So we commentate specifically to the screen, which is what everybody sees. And then everyone in the stadium will see screens as well, which will be dotted around. And then we'll look over our shoulders, more than likely just to try and see what's going on or if there's mm -hmm. a delay or whatever. But um, it's very cool here because we can actually see the cars gridding coming in through, warming the tires here, and we get to see it all in the replays here. And then in there, in the other room next to us, that is where the judges are. So there's three judges, and then there's one EVS. Four, like four Sorry, judges. four judges. Four so the judges, fourth yep. judge is actually on the instant replay. So their basic job is to go to the piece that they want to discuss. So a lot of people will say, oh, judging decisions, blah, blah, blah. Like they have so much information. Mm -hmm. So basically the fourth judge on the replay machine is basically going to the point of the battle that they want to really discuss and getting it from all the different angles. So that's kind of how that works. But it's the calm before the storm at the moment. So we're up here thinking, what is this going to look like with 20,000 people and cars drifting around? It's going to be wild. All right, so we've got a few minutes. We're just, it's, it's the evening time. It's a relaxed time. We're going to just have a little look around the paddock and we're going to give you guys a quick, snappy look at this thing. This is weird tour of Driftmasters outside the stadium, starting with... Look at this thing. <laughs> look at this thing. This is weird. This is a weird... Is this not a weird thing? <laughs> this is a Dakar race truck that they've turned into... What can I even describe as a pit vehicle? I can see the turbo through the, to the through here. That's a big old turbo with a big the old... The size of pipe. the shocks. That's a cool... So this is actually... This raced in the desert, and then someone bought it, because that's what you do when you've got a desert race truck. You sell it to a guy who decides to use it as his pit vehicle got like suspension and a spare winter stiff and some tires and crates of parts. All right, so we're going to do a little quick run around the paddock. Everyone's giving out about how expensive JDM parts have got, including Adam Ivel has got one, an S15. I've got an S15. How much are the headlights on an S15? Yeah, very, very expensive. I'd now. say you're, you're between 600 euro and 1,000, depending on the condition. Yeah. So the I'll last agree. thing that you would do is put them on a car that's going to go into a stadium with a front clip that's a concrete wall. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, you'd be wrong. Real S15 headlight. Genuines? Genuines. Yep, genuine. So now we got three more S15. Some loud anti lag in the background. Genuine headlights. These look brand new. These are actually probably like brand new genuine headlights. So brand new ones. Brand new. Brand new. Not even a scratch. New lenses refurbished, I would imagine. But I also, I've never seen these two cars, before, these three cars before. Very cool S15s. Oh, S15s. Which is like, you get to the final round of the season, still new cars. These two I like because they're really low. That is stand still. So three nice S15s. So you guys have seen us cover these events before. So here's something pretty common. It's this beautiful green. Yeah, let's go over here to the Lamborghini. Aventador. This is a common thing in uh, Drift Masters where you'll just see Aventadors rock up in the pits. Isn't that right, Adam? I heard this is what we're going to have as a Christmas bonus. This is all great. Yeah, it's going to struggle to qualify. I think it's a bit weak <laughs> for the track. There's also part Technically, the regulations are rear wheel drive, and I think this is four wheel drive. Yeah, I'm not sure what it's, it's, it's also parked at a disabled spot as well. So, I mean, you know. So, you might get tripped out. Isn't you. this thing just beautiful, though? It's the Batman spec. The he Batman walked spec. in and said, Wayne, Bruce, give it to me. <laughs> he went all black everything. And it's just phenomenal. Four exotic cars, got a nice Panamera. I like these. Let me know in the comments if you're a Panamera uh, fan or not. I think the versions before this were not very nice, but I think this one is very nice. I think if you go this side, I think they turn into a nice car. The rear end is very nice on these, like that slope. This, this is a cleverer man now, came prepared. 
He's got pre pre what, prepared to crack. Origin Labo. Origin Labo. Thing. I, I want to call them. Remember what they're called? They're like fighter or something. Or I told you, I lose everything, right? So I, I bought a pair of these, and before I took them out of the box, I lost those. So I only have these ones. So you definitely shouldn't have a genuine set of headlights. <laughs> this is a clever man because he knows what's coming this weekend. He knows the carnage that's coming. But I think there's still more real S15 headlights around the pits. So we've gone to a stadium event, one of the coolest drift events of the year, and we talk about headlights. But there's not much else to talk about because that's the most expensive part of a lot of these cars. Also, Dwayne McKeever new engine back in as you can see so this is a billet block or 28 i want to say 28 or 29 but it's mental anyway one or the other and this has had engine trouble the last round and now they fixed it and also want to shout out strong wheels ds25s winning combination what oh, Dwayne hitting a little bit of a little bit of fitment here look at this I think that's too fitment. It's too fitmenty, is it? <laughs> too fitmenty. I mean, you, you can't even fit a sliver under there. It's just resting on there. Looks good though. And he's got them in the white. And he's got them in the silver. And tough tile flooring, like we had at our shop at LZ Festival. So shout Colour out tough tile. Cone. Shout out Strom Wheels. Our DSO fives are coming in November. You know all about it. Make sure you check them out. Get onto the website. You can see a preview of the wheel that we designed with them. Are they genuine? Genuine Nissan S15 headlights. James Dean, of all people, has crashed enough to know should he put genuine S15 headlights in. He probably thinks it's going to be a good weekend, that's nothing's going to happen. He drives so close to everybody, you would think he, of all people, would know they're probably going to mash up his headlights. Another clever man, you have Rinton, he's gone for an ingenious approach. Genuine lenses, but with the LED bar inside. Oh, see? So he's got the look. So it's not a fake headlight, it's a lens. But he's got an LED inside. Are the lens is not the... the lens are not the expensive part, no. no. It's the inside bit that's expensive, so... Thinking outside the box, you have rented in. Genuine S15 headlights! In a full carbon Kevlar car. So the whole car designed that it can take an impact and bend, except for the headlights. So, Max Heidrich, again. Another man foolish enough to run genuine S15 headlights. What's wrong with these people? It's not even an S15. Like, he doesn't even need to go this. <laughs> he, he doesn't even have an S15, but he's still gone for genuine S15 headlights. I mean, this isn't... they got another S15. They don't have S15s. They need to ban S15s from competition use because they're getting far too expensive. This is the reason why they're getting so expensive now. Make S15... Make S15s cheap again! Anyway, that was our tour. Kind of unnecessary tour of S15 headlights. Are they real? Are they fake? Now on to some more action. Alright guys, that was the end of day one and qualifying at Driftmasters. Didn't get to do a whole lot of behind the scenes with you guys today because it was very busy. We do a lot of production meetings. It's a big event as you guys can see, a lot of planning. It was long, we did four hours, 20 minutes of commentary straight with Ian and Becky. So it was a long one, my voice is a little bit worn. So we're gonna head back, it's like midnight now. A little bit of a late start tomorrow, but we're gonna bring the cameras. I'm gonna show you a lot more behind the scenes because to be honest, we all wanna see the same thing. This place full, fireworks, CO2, and you're along for the ride tomorrow. All right, guys, it is game day for the Drift Masters finale. Interesting fact, have you ever been to a drift event that has a pet shop? There's a full-on pet shop out here. I'm gonna walk you guys into the VIP area. We're above that where the commentary booth is, and I haven't looked inside the stadium today, but I've heard the queues today have been absolutely wild. So I'm gonna roll in and get my first impressions of this insane event. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So tonight, this will have 10,000 people here. 
the floodlights will be on, CO2 cannons, fireworks. It makes me incredibly humble and proud to be part of the Driftmasters team because this whole championship was just an idea a couple of years ago and a lot of very special people like Arcadius, all the crew at Driftmasters, all of our crew, worked very hard for a couple of years to try and make drifting be a big deal because we love the sport so much. And to be honest, I don't think any of us would have imagined it getting to this level where we're seeing the best drivers in the world of all time, in my opinion, in front of a sellout crowd in a stadium with quarter of a million euros worth of tarmac laid. This is the wildest stuff ever. So I'm a little nervous. We're going to have about 2.5 million people watching tonight. Ian and I have to kind of block that out and Becky that we don't think about that too much. It's a bit stressful. So we kind of pretend that we're just the two of us and Becky talking and it's a bit more relaxed. But uh, this is definitely one where I'm feeling the nerves a little bit. It's going to be a lot of eyes on. We want to get the job done well. We want to make it as entertaining as possible. Also still keep it lighthearted and fun. But the championship fight between Peter Geinsek, Jack Shannon and Connor Shannon is very serious. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to go, go to the paddock, I think, and just kind of catch up with some of the boys and see how they're feeling ahead of it. But uh, practice has been pretty intense so far. So I'm just out here at the pre-grid area. You guys can see this is where all the drivers are before they go into the stadium. And this entranceway is pretty surreal. Cars are taking a battering already. And uh, it is getting busy in here. We're about two, three hours away from the start of the top 32. The championship fight between Peter, Jack and Connor is going to be pretty intense. We obviously have to uh, do a lot of work on commentary. That's going to be intense. We want to make as good a show as possible. But the tension is kind of real here. It's, I don't think drifting has ever mattered this much, where it's this competitive. You can see a lot of people having good team talks and a lot of stuff, but it's been fun so far. Boys are killing it on, the, on all the content. Yo, the next video, just wait, just wait. So, uh, yeah, cars are getting destroyed. Everyone's pushing to the limits. Last round of the championship, so, uh, you know what? There's no point in me talking about it. Check out this practice from Top 32. the final round of the season it's all gonna come down to the three of us everything we've worked for all year has come down to like the next couple of hours i guess i said at the start of the year if we we're going to win a european championship this is the one to do it all the best names are here and we're fighting it out with some of the best drivers in the world and when you put to the starting line here you kind of have to sell yourself half a foot wrong and your car is total for now i need to focus on driving to come down a bit to focus on the game time to Get the helmet on and uh, fight. I'm not here to play around, I'm, I want to get the win. At any moment in Driftmasters, the smallest component can cost you the event. And for Connor Shanahan, that small component meant the end of his championship run. With Connor out of the race, the Shanahan team would have to rally themselves as now the championship would come down to Vyansek and Jack. 
So just made my way down onto top 16 grid up here with my good buddy Kevin. All right, that was the maddest top 32 I think I've ever seen. Uh, my CPU is definitely overloaded now and overheating. I think Dave, that was that was All crazy. The, the rule books, the crashes, the oil spills, the punctures, wild, very heartbreaking for a lot of drivers. Other drivers who have had no luck all year are getting all of the luck. And look at this backdrop. I'll take a little walk down the top 16 grid here. It's going to be tough uh, to know who's going to win this tonight. That's the luck, chaps. Thank you, man. Thank you, Dave. Guys, is your 2022 Driftmasters European Champion. from Wales, the rookie, taking first step on the podium. So the event is over and we're on the track with Peter Gainsek and uh, his very interesting machine. Renault Twingo, wide body. Absolutely ridiculous. No, it doesn't work anymore because when we came into the stadium he was key banging it and it died. But have a look at the boot, Dave. Can you, can you tell us? Never, never again. Oh, fuck. Never no, no, no. But did you well, notice? I will show you one thing that you definitely didn't notice, okay? Okay. Look at the color of the rims. The color of the rims? You never see that in the, any other car, okay? And the color of the exhaust. Boom. No. It's nice. matching. Did you ever saw? Did you ever saw the matching color for the rims, rims and the exhaust? And I'm ashamed that your pro cars don't have that same don't level of detail. That. Don't mention Doesn't that. have the same level of detail. Don't mention that. I never put so much love into the car. <laughs> Not even to the drift cars. I think this had the right amount of power for the track conditions tonight. <laughs> Oh, it's already 70 horsepower would have been perfect. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> you know, the, 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 I think it's the, be the best summary of the reliability of this car. The conditions today on this tarmac is like ice, and we already broke two half shafts in this car. So it's very durable. <laughs> So the grip, was, the grip was too little for the drift cars and way too much for the Twingo. The man's just won the Drift Masters European Championship and an hour later he's doing a full guided tour of why we should all build Renault Twingos. No, swing yeah, wrapped in a zebra. Swing wrapped like a zebra with red Alcantara seats. Masculine. Matching yes. wheels and exhaust, one piece aluminium. I don't even know they make spoilers and wide bodies for this. This is, this is, a, this is quite the machine. No, 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 it and is. And the bombshell is, this is what he's using in the championship next year. It's out, it's out there for everybody. I always say that to be the best drivers in Europe, you've got to be a little bit crazy. And I think, case in point, is this thing. Peter, never change. <laughs> never change. What a machine. So it is the end of the event, and we're going to do a little team photo from our Drift Game side. Of all the boys who've put in a lot of work this year, it's now nearly 2 o'clock in the morning, everybody else is partying, we're just finishing up work. And uh, it's been an awesome job, Lucas, smashing out videos all year. Thank you. Jordan Butter's amazing photos all year. What a job. Josh Holsworth, yeah, good a bit. Adam Ivel, 
Dance around. Dance, dance around. Do, 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 do the TikTok. 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 Adam, I did nothing. thank you for all your help. I did Ian Waddington, hey. second best commentator in Driftmasters. Drift Masters. <laughs> and Keen. Look at the tired face on Keen. He's, he's had a long day. He's had a long day. All right, team photo, and we are out of here.